Volevo solamente ricordare che insieme alla Siracuse eh, abbiamo iniziato questo programma che ormai dura da diversi anni e lo continueremo cercando di, di dare alla città di Firenze e alla regione toscana la possibilità di entrare in contatto, di relazionarsi con la grande architettura eh, contemporanea. I embrace a non-linear approach to uh, the making of form very, very different to the classical model that surrounds us, quite radical and looks strange maybe to uh, eyes that don't practice it. But in all of it, the reason I pursue it is that there's a very strange mystery going on in the raw power of data and uh, its ability to feed back on itself. In all of that, I also embrace algorithms, which is a simple rule that repeats itself. And a typical and a great example is a pavilion I did with uh, Toyo Ito in London. So we thought we'd start with a box typology, classic, simple box typology. But have a motif, have a pattern that undermines the box, so that actually you lose the confines of a Cartesian box. And I drew this algorithm, it's very simple. I took a square and I took the half point and took a line to the third point. If I had taken half to the half, I'd come back on myself like a billiard ball. So that is a kind of a prescription for the architecture, a catalyst for the architecture, but it's not the architecture. To create architecture, there has to be also layers of interpretation. And so I extended all the lines to create an, archi an architectural diagram, if you like. And this is how it works. The primary six going in. Then the lines extend. Then I put in the ground plane. Cut. Cut the corners out and bend. Far away, if you look behind what you see, the actual form behind the shape is the spiraling form. And so there's the pavilion. For me, a uh, active sense of meditation on geometry. Um, it is architecture, it is a piece of structure. Uh, it is a sculpture, it's an ornament. It has all these layers mixed in. And um, what is interesting is that the simple one line, the half to a third, like a mantra, kept forming this piece, like stitching it together.